gentlemen, I'd now like to introduce our next guest of honor. He's actually a man who's almost a part of our real hero family, an ardent supporter, Amir Khan. Can we have you on stage, please, to give away the awards in the category of you. Tarangam, Tabassum, and Rubina, can we have you on stage, please? Tabassum, Tarangam, and Rubina. Barely out of their teens, Tarannum, Tabassum and Rubina have been running an informal study centre for the children of their village, Sajoy, near Varanasi, for the last two years. These three musketeers have managed to transform a madarsa that had been lying shut for the last 17 years into a school of hope. They provide basic education to their students and also get them enrolled to nearby government schools. किसी तरक्की सेंटर के नाम से इसी नाम दे दिए तरक्की सेंटर इसलिए ताकि यहाँ पे बच्चे जो हैं वो आए तो तरक्की कुछ करें। They've also brought in girls from nearby villages, quietly transforming one life at a time. लड़कियां जो है पढ़ी लिखी नहीं थी वहां पे सिर्फ हम तीनों ही थे जो की पढ़ने के लिए आगे बढ़े थे और हमारे पेरेंट्स जो की हमारे अबू अम्मी ने हमें पढ़ाने के लिए आगे बढ़ाया तो जो हमारी पढ़ाई थी वो सिर्फ इंटर तक थी यानी ट्वेल्थ तक सिर्फ हम उतने ही पढ़े लेकिन हम हमेशा ये सोचते रहे कि हम क्या करें ऐसा जो कि अपने गांव के लिए करें हमारा गांव और ज्यादा आगे बढ़े वो हमारे गांव के जो बच्चे हैं जो हमारे दोस्त हैं या जो हमारे गाँव की औरतें हैं वो लोग भी पढ़े और कोई लोग अंगूठा ना लगाए सब लोग अपना कम से कम नाम तो लिखना सीख जाए आखिर में मैं पूछूंगा आमिर खान से मिलना कैसे ल, कैसे लगा हाँ? बहुत अच्छा लगा तो आमिर खान जी से मिलना मिलने में अच्छा बहुत अच्छा लगा, लगा। अब वैसे हमने तो 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 उनकी फिल्म देखी है लेकिन देखे थे लेकिन आज तो सचमुच में देखिए तो जब तब जब गांव जाओगे तो क्या बोलोगे अपने दोस्तों को क्या बोलोगे कि हमने जो टीवी पर आमिर खान जी की पिक्चर देखे थे उनको रियली में देखे अरे वाह बस ये हुई ना बात आपने रियली में उनको देख लिया ये बात हुई टाइम ना टू कॉल द लास्ट रियल हीरो इन दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ यूथ मित्तल पटेल कैन बी हैव यू ऑन स्टेज प्लीज मित्तल पटेल All of 30, Mithil Patel has become the voice of the nomadic community of Gujarat. In uh, community, मतलब continuous दो तीन दिन तक लोगों को खाने को नहीं मिलता है. From saving an entire village from prostitution to starting tent schools for their children and giving the nomads an identity and a patch of land to call their own, Mithil is the real hero for the over 40 lakh nomads of Gujarat. Working among the nomadic tribes, among the most difficult communities in a way to work because nobody goes to them often. Was that the challenge that took you to them? जब मैंने डफेर कम्युनिटी गुजरात में है जो क्रिमिनल है और पुलिस का बहुत ही अत्याचार उनके ऊपर होता है मैं 2005 में मॉनसून में उनके सेटलमेंट में जब पहुंची चार किलोमीटर का पूरा रास्ता करके मेरे जूते भी टूट गए थे जब वहां जाके मैंने देखा कि झूपड़े भी नहीं कह सकते इतनी वर्स्ट कंडीशन में ये लोग रहते थे और उस टाइम एक लेडी जिसका बच्चा तीन दिन का शायद था वो बहुत रो रहा था मैंने उसको कहा कि इसको फीडिंग करवाओ ना इतना रो रहा है उन्होंने कहा कि मैंने ये बारिश शुरू हुई तब से मैंने कुछ नहीं खाया है एक वीक हो गया है मैंने नहीं खाया फीडिंग कहाँ से आएगा तो मैं बच्चों को खिलाऊंगी वो माइंड लोइंग मुझे लगा कि ये सिचुएशन हो सकती है क्या 
देश में कि जो माँ मतलब डिलीवर हुई है और उसको बच्चा हुआ है वो खाना नहीं है उसके पास और फिर मुझे लगा ये जर्नलिज्म छोड़ो ये रिसर्च छोड़ो सब एनजीओ को लगाना छोड़ो यहाँ पे तो सब काम करने की जरूरत बस उस दिन से लेके आज तक लगे हुए बहुत सारे लोग उसमें फिर जुड़े एक बात आपने सही की जन <laughs> इस, इस पूरे इस पूरे इसमें एक बात मेरे दिमाग में आई कि जर्नलिज्म छोड़ो कुछ और करो <laughs> ऐसा नहीं कह सकता मैं भी कहीं जाकर अब नोमैटिक ट्राइब्स को मुझे ढूंढना पड़ेगा ताकि मैं जर्नलिज्म छोड़ सकू Let me now take you to our next category of education and children. Let's call on K Parameswaran and P Chudamani. Karibiran Parameswaran and P Chudamani. Till today, I can make it. His legs are running in my mind. Both my husband and myself standing as a zero. The tsunami that struck coastal India in 2004 swept away all three children of Parmeswaran and Chudamani. But in their grief, they found strength. There was a 60 children they lost their parents. Parmeswaran and Chudamani started a home for the tsunami orphans and other abandoned children. Their home, Nambikai, has 26 children, all getting a new shot at education and life. I see your story on TV it's a you know when we've been playing it over the last month it's a great story it's a story where you've overcome tragedy to to get great strength i i salute you sir i salute you then last thing own three kids son birthday of my 26 december 2004 just visiting a in the morning kids wish you happy birthday daddy within an hour we are playing on the beach we are floating on the water he was crying daddy daddy the next wave lifted up and dropped me down till today i don't know but after burying digging the grave for own three children burying husband and wife three days who couldn't manage my wife is not started speaking to any word third night we thought of we don't want to see the tomorrow day and that a pain we want to close life and but my wife encouraged me that can he allow me one more day all these days we trusted god help us to come up i am working as an engineer with ongc my wife works with administrative officer with lic with all the facilities even 5 rupees we could not spend for my own kids on the day of the last rites of my children then fourth day morning my wife spoke to me that god is speaking to me in my heart that when i saved your husband in thousands of the tsunami do you think it's not possible to save your children i have purpose on you she came and encouraging me that the same day when we are nearby villages going there there's a 60 children they lost their parents my wife said i could see my children in this group they lost their parents we lost our children can you allow me to pick up one or two kids to along with me first time i came out of the womb without kids i want to take the kids with my own so there is a village people sent with us four kids on fourth day of the tsunami now 26 are living with us at my home also time to welcome our next real hero in this category kipu sering lepcha can we have you on stage please kipu sering lepcha lepcha community it is a dying race with just 45000 lepchas left in sikkim 
Kipu Lepcha has taken it upon herself to save her community from extinction. The Lepcha Cottage is home to almost 75 orphaned and semi-orphaned Lepcha children. Here, every child is getting a shot at good education and a better life. I don't think I would have ever helped um, so many children. I could do so much for the children if I had my own family. What Miss Kipu gets in return is the undying love of these children who call her Nikon or grandmother. Lipcha community, is it going to remain? You know, because there's been fear that the numbers were going down. Actually, it is a dying race. Uh, the, one of the main reasons that we have found is that the Lepchas are the most backward community right now and poverty-wise also they are very quite poor and then the, one of the main reasons is uh, too much use of alcohol. The permanent solution will be to give right education to the children and now the children play as little soldiers, little ambassadors uh, we are trying to reach the families through the children. Sindhu Thai Sapkal, can we have you on stage, please? Sindhu Thai Sapkal. Sindhu Thai Sapkal is a mother to over a thousand orphaned children in Pune. Married off at the age of 10 to an abusive husband, Sindhu Thai and her young daughter were left to fend for themselves. Sindhu Thai found her life's calling in taking care of abandoned children of Adivasis. Today, she runs five ashrams across Pune and Vardha districts. The children are not given up for adoption. Today, they are professors, teachers and doctors. Sindhu Thai, you are also a very big family. You are a very big family. ज़्यादा तो मेरे को हिंदी नहीं आता हाँ, फिर भी C N E N, I B N, अन्य Reliance Foundation, अभी मेरे को याद आ रहा है कि मैं कौन थी, रेलवे में भीख मांगने वाली भाई, और अभी रेल हीरो बन गई मैं, क्या बात है, इसलिए मैं पहले बोलती, दूध में पकाए चावल तो उसे खीर कहते हैं दूध में पकाए चावल तो उसे खीर कहते हैं मोहब्बत में खाए ठोकर तो उसे तकदीर कहते हैं लकीर की फकीर हूं मैं कोई बात नहीं लकीर की फकीर हूं मैं उसका कोई गम नहीं नहीं धन तो क्या हुआ इज्जत तो मेरी कम नहीं अरे वाह Ladies and gentlemen, time now to call the last real hero in this category of education and children. Sevang Dorji, can we have you on stage, please? Sevang Dorji. He comes from one of the most desolate villages of Ladakh. Sevang Dorji is a sub-inspector with the JNK police who came back to set up a nursery school in his village of Shara, where thus far, children did not go to school till they were seven. Dolce hopes his nursery model is adopted all across Ladakh. I would like to help my immediate society to make some change, to make some difference, because I belong to very rural, uh, remote village of Ladakh, uh, where uh, Students uh, are not getting nursery-based fundamental education. Well, you've succeeded in doing that. Many, many congratulations to you, sir. Many, many congratulations. <laughs> Amir, before we move to our final category, you've been a part of this Real Heroes event, except for once that you couldn't come. And you come each time with that same enthusiasm. I can see it on your face, the curiosity that you have. Do you believe that this really is what you would like to see India really about, about discovering these hidden diamonds in a sense? Each time that I come here, I feel enriched. Every time that I've, every year that I've come here, uh, you know, I, I 
look at the stories, I look at the faces, and I look at the innocence and the dreams in the eyes of these heroes. And, and that's what they're made of. They are made of innocence and dreams and strength. Each one of them is really strong, and it really inspires me. So thank you for calling me again and again. Yeah, thank no, you so we, much. We, we'd love to have you every year because you come with such enthusiasm and infectious enthusiasm. And also, you can, all, we've seen so many good shires among our real heroes. They'll put Prasun Joshi out of a job. Prasun ji, aapki, huh? aapki, khatre mein. Aapki naukri khatre mein hai. But, you know, I, I mean, in conclusion, when you go back home, you've got a young family, young kids. Do you believe that the young who perhaps aren't, you know, do we need to take these real heroes maybe to the school children of India to inspire another generation to maybe contribute to society in their own way? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think at this point of time, India, one, uh, two in every three Indians is, is a young, able-bodied person. 65% of our population is 35 and below, if I'm not mistaken. And we better Hindustan ko nahi and I think that, uh, you know, this is the time for change and, and the youth is, is that uh, which can do it. After uh, Real Heroes, right, on every single channel, how many people have followed you? So That's right. How many of such similar programs have happened? And you were really the first to start uh, thinking about this.